There's a big breakthrough that just came out for handling large language models on a smartphone. Until now, what you see here was more or less the state of the art for running big language models on a cell phone. Painfully slow. So that's why I'm excited about this new method. But before I talk about the new way, let's quickly review how this was done until now. The best known method is to distill a larger model into a smaller one that can run on mobile devices. Google's been working on that for models like Mina and Switchboard, for example, to optimize those models for smartphones. The distill technique trains a student model to mimic the predictions of a larger pre-trained teacher model, resulting in a smaller version with similar performance to the original. A second approach is called sparsification. What this does is reduce the number of parameters in a large language model by removing connections between neurons that have less impact on the model's performance, which can greatly reduce model size and result in big efficiency gains. An example of this is the sparsified version of Mixtral 47B, a 47 billion parameter model. As a point of comparison, the largest size LLM that's currently feasible to run on smartphones is around 7 billion parameters. So finding a way to access a 47B model on a smartphone is pretty impressive. A third approach is native compressed, which involves building a pre-trained model that's designed from the start for use on smartphones. An example of this is what Google calls AI Core, which is what's behind Gemini Nano. A fourth option is model conversion, using a software framework that's optimized for running machine learning models on low power devices. An example of that approach is TF Lite Micro from TensorFlow. Instead of creating a new model, what this does is simply convert an existing pre-trained model into a format that's suitable for a smartphone. It's a more general purpose approach. A fifth method is to deploy a hardware accelerator, maybe a machine learning coprocessor. It's a pure hardware strategy. It doesn't train or compress models. It simply helps to improve the performance of existing ones. Apple's Neural Engine is an example of that approach. And another method is full device optimization, leveraging all the on-device processing units in a holistic way. An example of this is Snapdragon AI Engine from Qualcomm which leverages the CPU and the GPU of the smartphone, and also a neural processing unit called Hexagon. And now we come to that new option I was talking about, Power Infer 2. This framework looks at every option for processing an LLM on a particular smartphone and picks the fastest way for that LLM on that device. For example, it uses completely different computation patterns for the early versus the later phases of the pipeline, because it's faster. And it breaks down the work into very small tasks and organizes those based on which neurons are most likely to activate which increases efficiency a lot, it turns out. And the final step picks which processing units to use based on which ones will do the job faster. Add it all up and the performance difference is very great. Here's a side-by-side -side demo 
with power in for two on the left and Lama CPP on the right. By the way, Lama CPP is designed to run large language models very efficiently on smartphones. It's the fastest framework of this type right now. Even so, you can see a very big difference in speed. In fact, the authors document a 29x speed increase, achieving more than 11 tokens per second on a smartphone for the sparsified version of Mixtral 47B, which is amazing. By the way, as you can see, this approach can be used in addition to other methods we talked about. It's not either or. And for models that fit entirely on the device, Power Infer 2 achieves a 40% reduction in memory use at the same speed as other models. And that kind of result could make many projects viable that were simply not possible for us before. So this is definitely good news. Faster, smarter, better. Meanwhile, Thanks for watching and see you next time.